Here you are. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. You too. <laughs> no, I just did the thing. Oh, I'm gonna blow my brains out. Good morning. Now May the 9th. I need to do my groceries finally. I'm thinking about going to Starbucks and getting that coffee that everybody on TikTok is getting because it looks really good and I need some coffee. But if I do, it'll be after groceries. But look how curly my hair turned out for my braids. I love it. I just got in from doing my groceries and Percy was obviously at the door waiting for me because he hears when you get off the elevator so he waits at the door even if it's not one of us and so he was standing here and I was trying to put my bags in because I had three of them and then he snuck past my bag and just like wandered around out the hallway and I was like that's kind of cute maybe I'll let him do it because in my brother's building and his girlfriend they have cats that they just let wander sometimes just to get out of the apartment because they can't go outdoors obviously and he started picking on the carpet and I was like dude Maybe someday we'll just let you wander around for a little while. But here's my groceries. I got some actual food because I have a recipe I'm gonna make. I found these, these are new. Maple flavored breakfast sausages. I got wings because I've been craving them. Spinach pizza, a really nice bread. Oh, it's not pre-cut. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And Percy needed wet food and this compliments brand was 10 for five. Hairspray juice. All that good stuff. Honestly, it doesn't look like I got much, but it's because I didn't get snacks this time. I don't need snacks, so I think it was pretty successful. All right, so there were a couple things that I couldn't get at Zoe's because they were completely out of flour. We really needed flour. A couple other things. So I'm gonna go to a Walmart so that I can just get in and out of one store and not have to worry about browsing other stores. And I keep seeing this drink on TikTok that I really want, so I'm gonna get it. I never drink Starbucks, so we'll see how this goes. I'm at Starbucks and the lineup is so long. Oh my god, I panicked and turned my camera off before I went and actually ordered. I got a venti iced coffee with four pumps of white mocha and sweet cream and light ice, so. They were so sweet. I hope I'm allowed to tip them because we're not allowed to use cash right now, but okay. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. That's good. Am I allowed to tip you? Pardon me? Am I allowed to tip you still? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. You are. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. You too. <laughs> no, I just did the thing. Oh, I'm gonna blow my brains out. I thought he was gonna say have a good day. That is just one of the worst things ever. <laughs> Enjoy, you too. Yeah, like. <sighs> thank you on it so cute okay that's not really light ice if that's light ice i won't take my first sip until i pick you up oh my god where the fuck did you fall it was so intense how do i solve my license I hate Starbucks coffee and I actually like that. That's pleasant, that tastes rich. Okay, but honestly, that only costs like 587, I think. And that's usually what I would pay for a freaking grande, just an iced coffee. Like I might as well just go fucking, this guy's trying to pass me on the right. He can suck it. I just realized I didn't really describe the flavor of the coffee. It's still very much like a coffee drink, like if you're one of those people that needs to have caffeine but can't taste the coffee, it's not a drink for you, but it's a much more subtle coffee taste because I find the Starbucks to be quite strongly butt tasting. I think the sweet cream and the white mocha kind of evens it out. Also, change of plans, I was going to go to Shoppers uh, to get the things that I need, but then I realized I need a big bag of flour and I also need a charger and like the things that I need I just feel like they won't be in that place. Now it was gonna go to Walmart But I realized that it's Saturday and Walmart always has the lineups outside of the store because there's a limited people amount of people allowed at once 
and Walmart is one of those you have to wait in line and I'm not gonna do that for a few items. So I'm gonna do that another day when I can bang it out in one go. I'm gonna go home and drink my delicious coffee like a little white girl that I am and I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm gonna make some actual supper today. We are making taco stuffed sweet potatoes. I'm making one singular sweet potato because I'm one person. I do not wanna wear my Lulu shirt, so hold on. Changed into my Kellogg's Frosted Flakes shirt. Oh, I need to put that. Okay, so one pound of lean ground beef. We need salsa one onion, two cloves of garlic, taco seasoning, and sweet potato. And then we're gonna top with sour cream. You can do guacamole. I'm choosing not to do that because the avocados were too expensive. And cheese. <sighs> okay, so my body did not like that coffee. Turn the heat off and go to the bathroom again. Um, but I'm back with taco seasoning. Ooh. Have that. Look at it. Cute. Now it's time to add some toppings. This is not going on top, this is going in my stomach. <gasps> Look at this. This looks super good. I guess we'll just put a little salsa on the side. And there it is. Beautiful. All right, I'm about to eat it. And Zoella's on the background. It's not bad. I'm not the biggest fan of um, sweet potato, so I'm mostly eating this for the toppings. <laughs> Trying to mix in some sweet potato in there for its nutrients. Um, pretty good. That's a good recipe. All right, what is my near future looking like? Application, study, scholarship, and reflection. Wait, well, that one was, that one was romance. That doesn't make much sense. Repose of the false heart, indignation, and violence. Good, okay. Health and happiness. Presumption, vengeance, trouble, triumph, war. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I think there's a war going on in my stomach. Now for my career, death. <laughs> So true, I lost both of my jobs. I don't wanna think about that. This was fun. It's May 10th, it is Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. I made a video for my mother. I had planned on, because I'm going to their property because my brother has his own apartment in the back and he has like a workshop where I'm going to build my PC and we're gonna be socially distancing and everything. I'm gonna be wearing masks and gloves and everything that I need to do. And I mean, I've been in my apartment for, since this started, I don't even know how long it's been. I'm going to remain as safe as possible, but I was going to wait until I built the computer to give her that video. But now I have no idea when I'm gonna be able to do that. And I wanted to have it sooner than later, but I also want her to have it on a USB. I don't know how I'm gonna send that long. It's 17 minutes long. I don't know how I'm gonna send that to her. Um, other than that, it is 3 p.m. I haven't done anything today. I've taken a really fat nap. I finished editing that video. Um, so that's something. I just like I've been wanting to vlog but lately I've just felt like I don't have anything to document But the whole point is to document the reality of my life so that I can remember these times I still want to remember my life even if I'm not doing much that is entertaining But I also want to take this channel into doing videos that are also just fun like youtuber videos that they do You know, I've been writing down video ideas and I do have Quite a few. I am starting class in a couple of days, so that's also going to give me something to do, maybe something to talk about. It's an interesting course. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get to the point, like, because I can already feel myself feeling pressured to, like, do things that are entertaining and do things to gain more views and gain more subscribers and whatever. That's not why I set up to make this channel, but I can definitely see how easy it is to get stuck into that. So I just wanted to have a little bit of a rant and make it a little more real because I haven't been like that in a while.
This is so exciting. I haven't played on this in so long. Animal Crossing, I might just make a new account on this. Kirby Air Ride was one of my all time favorites. I freaking love this game. Oh! Turns out I don't have enough memory to create any save files for any of these games that I wanna play. So this was a waste of my time and I'm gonna go back to bed. Um, I just napped again for no reason. I was just bored and no energy. So 7.30, I'm just watching Emma Chamberlain's new video. I just like, I feel like I haven't really been enjoying myself and hadn't had anything to do since I haven't been able to play video games. My PC right now, I was, I was playing Sims on it every day. On my Xbox, I was playing like Fortnite and Call of Duty. That was just filling up my time. I was having a really good time having fun and I got to play with my brothers. I got to play with my boyfriend. I got to play by myself and just really enjoy it. And I was getting super hyped about getting a PC that I could actually play all the other games that I used to play from Steam. Now all of the space is taken up on my computer. I can't do anything but edit my videos. I actually just uninstalled a bunch of programs getting ready for my new PC just so that I could use that to edit. So now it's working a little bit better with editing. I still, I ran out of my game pass for my Xbox and I'm not getting, I'm not renewing renewing it because I got game pass with one of my parts for the PC but I didn't want to register that until I had my PC because I didn't know if the code was gonna let me use it on a new PC do you know what I mean anyway moral of the story is I have nothing to do I'm waiting on one part for my PC the power supply literally the the one thing that I need to make it all work and all of the expensive parts be worth it is what I'm waiting on I don't feel well I finally caved and I got my Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I tried redeeming the one from the computer, but turns out it's actually just fucking pointless. Like you need to make a whole new account. It's not just a code that you redeem. I said, fuck it, you know what? This is why my mom gave me the money for Easter to get me the Xbox Game Pass. And I waited, like I w was gonna buy it, but then I waited because I saw that I got that pass and I was gonna wait to redeem it when I got my PC. And then I was like, there's no point. I'm just a waiting sitting duck. I caved and now Fortnite is updating and I'm excited. I'm gonna start with Fortnite and then I'm gonna move my way into Call of Duty Warzone. I'm just, I'm happy to be here. All right, folks, look at this. We are gonna be tanning tomorrow and Thursday. Yes. I just played my first game of Fortnite back since Oh, since I got my Xbox Live back. I got a victory royale with nine kills and like 200 some damage taken, which isn't that much, but it was so exciting. I was shaking, so that's fun. I'm gonna play Sims for a little while and probably play some more Xbox before I go to bed tonight. And I'm gonna try and have an early start tomorrow. It's supposed to be nice, so I wanna actually have a day outside. I wanna actually work out because I wanna go to the gym upstairs today, but I didn't feel well after supper. That's it for this video. I don't even know if this is gonna go up because I don't really remember what I filmed today. I think it was just me talking, but again, that's my life and I need to stop thinking about pleasing other people and doing this for the purpose that I originally set up to do this. So thanks for watching.